This is Akashwani, the news, read by Ashok Ojha. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will hold talks with Nigerian President Bola Ahmed Tinubu at Abuja this afternoon. Prime Minister Modi and President Tinubu will review the strategic partnership between the two countries and discuss further avenues to enhance the bilateral relationship. Several agreements are expected to be signed following the talks. Prime Minister Modi will also address a gathering of Indian community in the country. Nigeria will honor Prime Minister Modi with Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, G. Korn. He will be the second foreign dignitary to receive this honor. Queen Elizabeth is the only foreign dignitary to be awarded with G. Korn in 1969. This will be the 17th such international award being conferred upon the Prime Minister by a country. From Nigeria, the Prime Minister will travel to Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro later in the evening on a two-day trip to attend the G20 summit hosted by President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva. India is part of the G20 Troika along with Brazil and South Africa and has been actively contributing to the ongoing G20 summit discussions. During the event, Prime Minister Modi will present India's positions on various global issues and build on the outcomes of the G20 New Delhi Leaders' Declaration as well as the voice of the Global South summits hosted by India in recent years. Mr. Modi is also expected to meet several leaders on the sidelines of the G20 summit. In the third and final leg, Prime Minister Modi will undertake a state visit to Guyana from 19th to 21st of November. Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO has conducted a successful flight trial of India's first long-range hypersonic missile from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha yesterday. This hypersonic missile is designed to carry various payloads for ranges greater than 1,500 kilometers for the armed forces. In a social media post, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh described the flight trial as a historic achievement which has put India in the group of select nations having capabilities of such critical and advanced military technologies. He congratulated DRDO, armed forces and the industry for the successful flight trial. In Maharashtra, campaigning for assembly elections has reached its peak as only two days are left for canvassing to end. Leaders of various political parties are crisscrossing the state to woo the voters. In order to encourage the voters to exercise their franchise on 20th of November, the Election Commission is making efforts through systematic voters' education and electoral participation sweep to create awareness about importance of voting. In Jharkhand, campaigning for the second and final phase of assembly elections will come to an end tomorrow evening. Leaders of various political parties are leaving no stone unturned to woo the voters. BJP President J.P. Nadda will address three poll rallies in Gomia, Sindri and Nala today. On the other hand, senior Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, JMM leader and Chief Minister Hemant Soren is scheduled to address six rallies across the state. Congress leaders are also scheduled to address a series of meetings across the state. RJD leader Tejasvi Yadav will address gathering at Danbad. The Commission for Air Quality Management, CAQM, has directed concerned authorities implementing the Graded Response Action Plan GRAP to give priority to all identified hotspots of air pollution in NCR states. In Sri Lanka, the swearing-in ceremony for the new cabinet of the government will be held tomorrow at the Presidential Secretariat in the presence of President Anura Kumar Disanaike. Local media reports from Sri Lanka suggest that the President plans to appoint a 23-member cabinet, retaining the key portfolios of defense and finance under his leadership. India has sent the first consignment of about 425 metric ton of food grains and other edible items to Suriname for its social welfare program. India enjoys close, warm and friendly relations with Suriname, reinforced by cultural and people-to-people -people contact, bridged by Indian diaspora's arrival dating back to one and a half century. And that is the end of this news bulletin. <laughs> 